Yeah. Right? Like the Myanmar thing. And I mean, we've got issues all over the globe, right? I mean, they got to know every language. Like, come on. It's impossible. And then they're held to account by, like, the parliament in Britain and the Congress here. And they don't agree. They do things different against each other. Like, parliament just um, released papers that were sealed by a judge in the United States Mm -hmm. that couldn't be released in Parliament in Britain went and took the guy and held him and demanded the papers when he was in Britain right so it's like now two countries have just put him in the middle of their little uh, dispute you know what I mean across the pond right It's hard to straddle the pond. It's, it's, yeah. you know, it really is. Like, yeah. I don't know how they do it. So you just stopped in here to see me? Well, I don't you have to go to the bathroom? To use the restroom, yeah. No, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. But then I saw you in your office and I was just going to let you know that. Or, yeah, see yeah, if you yeah. Got my reply to I didn't even that. notice you pull in. You Usually I don't get surprised like that. I'm ready for it. You, well, I was eating. <laughs> yeah, you did. You know, I haven't seen any police or sheriffs in like the last few nights. Actually, it's been yeah. Strange. We were off the past two nights. You were off. Yeah, we or our ship. Oh, this is our, this is our first <laughs> I thought night. you were joking. Like the police, you know. Yeah, no, my took a few days off and stuff, right? Yeah, I think it was <laughs> <a few days. laughs> that would be cool, but no, not quite. I mean, I haven't heard much talk about real crimes except for this this Taco Bell. You know, which I'm very interested in in the the drug story, you know, but everybody else, nobody's got any real crimes to talk about. Yeah, it's it's. it's I mean, I suppose domestic violence is going on. We yeah, won't talk of, about of, that. Like, of, but. of most of the crimes that happen this time of the year, it's going to be domestic violence, and I think it has to do with the weather. People uh-huh. want to be inside. They like to drink because it keeps them warm. Yeah, yeah. And then when, when you know, you have spouses inside drinking and then bills start coming up, start talking about business, start getting angry and want to yell. And then I, a lot of times, believe it or not, I think a lot of our, disturb, our domestic disturbances come from apartment complexes because neighbors hear it when they call in. When people are at home and they argue, you don't get a lot of it. Because a lot of people are mean a small right? percentage of them. Is right. that what you're saying? Yeah. I mean, you get calls, but not. Yeah, it's happening way more than is being reported. I believe that. Yeah, I believe that too. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And and we tell people it's it's not a, it's not a crime to argue. You, you can argue with each other. Absolutely. There's no law that says you can't. Because a lot of people get upset when we respond when a neighbor calls, and then we, we it's tell scary. them. It's scary. Right? Somebody's called the police on you. Right? Somebody's called the police on you. And now these guys with guns show up and you don't know what they're going to do. Right? Because they were called. You right. really it's, don't it's, know. It's like a crapshoot. You really yeah, just don't know what kind of officer like you're house. seeing. I mean, some officers think that because they were called, there is a problem. Somebody has done something. Right? It doesn't mean that. Right. Right, but that is the reality that the people are dealing with. There are a multitude of officers that feel that way, right? And they, you know, demand ID like they're running you, they're, you know, accusing you of this and that. And I don't know what your intentions are, and the Fifth Amendment's gone. Like, you're not innocent. Now we're going to prove ourselves innocent. You know what I mean? You just don't know. And and really, you know, when they call and, and, you know, a lot of times it's more yelling, like if they hear something, hit the wall, yeah, or yeah, something, yeah. that's usually when they'll call. And, you know, we tell them, we show up, and we say, hey, so we had a call of a disturbance coming from your, from your house. You know, are you okay? And, you know, the, the man or the woman, whoever you make contact with, was, are, are you okay? Yeah, we just had a verbal argument. Okay. Then we ask the other one, is it true? Just a verbal argument? Yeah. And is it true? <laughs> yeah, because, I like the way you talk. Because a lot of times when they're when they're face to face, they are in the same area. It's easier for them to lie when they're separ- when they're separated. Yeah. It is. But but then again, you know, how far are you going to take that to separate? 
know, it's also easier to collude. Yeah, they didn't call us their house, so, so right. you have to, you know, you're walking a fine line there of, you know, am, am I gonna barge into their home? You know, you just have to kind of take the totality of certain things. Yeah, right? it's not a true witness. Right, it's right. It's not at all. And, right. and, there, and there's times where, you know, we'll knock on the door and they just won't answer the door. They don't and, have to, and, yeah. and if they don't answer the door, then we'll leave, but we'll notate that we were called. We're called here. We try to make contact. No one how how many times do you keep knocking? <laughs> I would, I would knock, ring a doorbell. If they didn't, if they didn't come to the door, probably again. I mean, what if they come and then they say, "Who is it?" And you tell them it's the police, and they say, "No thanks." Always happened. Yeah, but then how how long do you stay there? <laughs> uh, usually, usually, what I will do. Um, is I won't say this to police. I'll say, hey, listen, we we got a call here with disturbance. We just want to make sure everybody's okay. That's all we want to do. And but they, you're you're insisting that they answer that question? No, no, no. I'll just say we just want to make sure everybody's okay. But what if they say no thanks? <laughs> like I don't want to answer any questions. Yes. You just leave. I mean, like after five minutes, fifteen minutes, like. No, no. no I mean, no. how I, many? I, I you wouldn't. Bring I out the floodlights. Like, yeah. <laughs> turn, <laughs> turn them up. No, I mean, <laughs> no. you know what I mean. Like, there's um, I, I guess like twenty minutes, right? Like on a traffic stop where you can detain somebody and you can just stand there and have your little huddle at the back of the car and stuff and not well, now, really do anything, but you can hold them for twenty well, now minutes. It's, now it's now it's in a reasonable time. It's not there's is not a set time now. It's no, reasonable. not set, but I mean generally speaking, they have said like twenty minutes is a general idea. But of course there are other yeah. things that happen. But I mean like. Without any escalations or any reasonable articulable suspicion to escalate, you know what I mean? The guy like 20 minutes, basically. It doesn't mean 20 minutes in one second you're, you know, right, right. Uh, uh, strung up by a noose or anything, but... Well, well, I mean, going to someone's house on a disturbance like that, unless, unless a neighbor was saying that a person in the house was screaming, help me, he's killing me. Sure, 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 sure. Please call the police help. Sure. I mean, there's, I mean, your, your your home is your home. But people can lie about things like that, and you said that's a crime. And they can, and yes. that is a crime. Yes. absolutely, it is. But people get swatted. That's yeah. what that's called. I, I mean, know. Yeah, and that's dangerous. Swatted. That is that is extremely dangerous. Absolutely, it's dangerous. I mean, I think it, a lot of times police officers think anybody with a gun is now the target. When there's 300 million guns in this country, there's going to be guns like. Mm -hmm. If you don't see guns, I, I'd be worried. Yeah. Right? Like that guy that just got shot at the mall with the gun by right. the police. Right. And then was blamed by the police. And he wasn't the shooter. He was not the shooter. And then they said that he was brandishing the weapon and that um, he was involved, but he wasn't the shooter. And then they had to backtrack that and say that he wasn't involved, but he was brandishing. And then they had to backtrack it again and say that he wasn't even brandishing. Mm -hmm. He was trying to help. Yeah. Right, I mean, that happens. Does, I right, mean, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't know what's going to happen when the guys with the guns get there, and the badges, and the qualified immunity. Right, it's the qualified immunity that, that's really the scariest thing. Like, everybody knows that they could get shot at any moment by any anybody, or you know, hit by a car, or I mean, hit by lightning, or whatever. Like, things can happen, right? But if somebody deprives you of their rights, then there's a fair to midland chance that it's going to get prosecuted and they're going to serve time for it, you know. But if it's a police officer, it, the chances aren't good, right? That it's even going to get found out, let alone prosecuted and then convicted. Not, not, not likely. You know what I mean? Not likely at all. There's only been one recent case where an officer was was convicted that I can think of and I, I don't know who it was or what city but there has been one recently where somebody did go to jail oh I think it was that one with the um, in Florida where the cop's husband choked that guy out um, like at a Denny's he was peeing outside or something and he like um, held him and was on top of him in a chokehold and, um, and his wife was there who was the police officer and she was like not stopping it you know what I mean I think they were both convicted well that. the Dallas police officer the Dallas police she officer she got indicted on murder indicted but she hasn't been convicted right, right. yet yeah 
That's the one where she shot the guy in his house. Right, and that that uh, I think they exposed that that was that there's some more going on there that she actually knew him and had a grudge against him or well, something, and uh, she didn't just accidentally stumble into that house. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot more to that. Than yeah, yeah, but at first that's them. not what was said. You know what I mean? The the chief or the whoever the, you know the press agent whatever. They're real quick to get in front of that podium and and say that we don't break any laws, right? How do you know? Like, right. <laughs> of this course you happened. break laws. Like, everybody breaks laws, right? Not necessarily laws, like, with victims, but a code of some sort. And when you have all those policies and um, SOPs and SOGs, and there's a pile of of rules that you guys have to follow oh, yeah. it's impossible you're always breaking day. some of them right like the the people don't have that big of a pipe you know what i mean they don't have the rules and the sops and the policies right, right to follow but um you know there's still a lot right like everybody i mean makes mistakes right mm -hmm. so to make a broad statement like my entire department follows every rule and guideline come on yeah that's nonsense right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't you have to go to the bathroom pretty bad? Yeah, yeah. I'll go, go ahead, go yeah. ahead. I just, uh, you're not detained. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna smoke a cigarette anyway. That her and her husband got into an argument, and she decided to separate herself because he was throwing stuff off the counter. So she said, "I got the kids," and we walked outside. Now the kids were real small. Um, one couldn't speak. Uh, one was three. The other one was. Four. And uh, she said that they were in the garage, and he comes out with a bowl in his hand, and they're they're yelling. And then he hits the bowl on his head a few times until it finally broke. So, so self-inflicted. So as she was saying, it was self-inflicted. Now, you know, sometimes we we get these calls where people are, are hurt, and they want to say, oh, well, she punched herself, or he punched herself in the face. You know, punch yourself in the arm and said he's going to call saying I did it. I mean, you have to look out for this. Sure. You don't so, know. So he's, so he's saying, he's telling us, well, she hit me in the head and I want her to go to jail. Now, you know, if you take an officer who didn't, who didn't fully investigate it, it's a domestic disturbance. It's something that the state takes very seriously is, is violent cases between partners. Um, Except this one is different because it's, uh, he's accusing the woman. Okay. Yeah, you, you you don't get that as often, right? You you, you really don't, right? It happens a lot. But it does. They don't call. It does. They don't. And and, and we've and we've arrested women before yeah. for for assaulting their husbands. So vastly underreported, though. So so you take you know an officer didn't investigate it very much. She could have been arrested. So, but what we did was the woman's called her sister to come over. Her sister came over and she brought her other little kid with her. And if you know anything about kids, kids, I don't want to say never, but little kids don't lie, especially when there's no, no one there of interest to them, like, like their parents. Right. So what, so what we did was the mom sent them in the back room to play while uh, the mom and sister, we were talking with them and doing everything. You suppose? Yeah. And what I did was I just kind of just kind of stepped back. And I stood there and I just listened to the kids. And the, and the kids were saying, well, what happened? What happened? Why are the police here? Why are the police here? And one of the kids said, my dad got real angry and he was arguing with mom. And he kept hitting himself in it. She called it a glass. But she said he kept hitting himself in the head with a glass and it broke and he got hurt. So, okay, all right, you know. But how do you know that wasn't hearsay? Like, they, that the kid actually witnessed it and didn't just hear his mom um, saying it and he trusted his mom. So, now had the mom have been in the room with the child? But I mean, before you guys, oh, the kid wasn't there. Wait, the kid, right, the kid, the, the kid witnessed it. How do you know? Uh, according to the mom, the mom said. Oh, the that, mom said. The yeah, the, 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 yeah, the mom said that whenever this was going on, she was in the garage. She separated herself from her husband, 
So it was her in the garage with her three kids. And then he came out in the okay. garage and, and hit his son. And he So you did know that he witnessed that, okay. Right, the, the, the child, yeah. Okay. So so I'm sitting back, you know, and I'm listening, I'm hearing that. I'm like, okay. I I really I, I really think that that he probably hit us up in the head, whether it caused the injury. Yeah, so now he's endangered him. himself, and he's filed a fault, attempted to file a false report. Right. right. So did you arrest him? Uh, well, that's it's being it's being investigated. Like, oh, this is going on. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All right. So, I thought this was an old case or something that you were bringing up. But I, this I, is I mean, it, it might be. Current. It might be done now. You know, kind of when, when it goes when it goes off to uh, to the detective. No, you, you know what? But you guys didn't like take him for his own protection, right? Then. Like, well, he went to the hospital. Oh, for okay. That. Um, okay, you know what? I believe, I believe it is done, and I, and I want to say, and I, I, I go through reports so much, it's, it's hard to remember the in the on everything. But I think the county attorney might have refused that case. And why I don't I don't know. we don't we see a lot of that we see a lot of the, the county, county attorney, attorney doesn't want none of it refusing refusing cases for whatever reason I don't know I that's beyond beyond anything I can do I mean I'd like to say it's because of shoddy police report shoddy police work but you never know right like uh, they're lazy from time to time so I don't over there I don't know I mean I'm not. Particularly, this county attorney. I, yeah. I I don't know who it is. Don't know anything about it, but it's just possible so, yeah, so reasons. I, so I, I believe that case is, is is done. So you didn't take him for his own protection right then, though. Well, that well, would have carried more weight if you had done that. Yeah. Well, he went to the hospital. And what we, yeah. And what we we can do. So this has to be treated first. Yeah. 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 And what we can do is, if we believe someone's a danger to themselves or others. And they go to the hospital. We have a, a form that's called a purple form. And what we do is we write on there why we believe they're a danger to themselves or others, and they have to be evaluated by a mental health professional. So, if we have t if we would have took them from there and did an emergency detention order on them and taken them to uh, Georgetown Behavioral or Rock Springs, they would have denied them for his, his injury. Oh, yeah, he would have had to be, and plus he was drinking, so he would have had to have been. He probably wasn't really a danger to himself, judging by what you're saying. Like it was, he wasn't really like in a depressed state necessarily. It was just that they were in an argument and right. he was trying to make a point or something. Yeah. I don't know, guys. But they're but, stupid, you know, <laughs> <laughs> right? But but I but I think you know, kind of stepping back, like listening to the kids, what they were saying. You know, kids typically especially that age they don't they won't lie to each other sure yeah um, now I do understand that, that some kids are coached right. by their parents hey tell the police this tell them this tell them this and that usually occurs when the parents are around because the kids are scared yeah to, to not do what mom or dad told them right but whenever they were back in the back and mom wasn't around I think that I mean, I, I, so I that's that, good I thought you were going to say you were going to question the kids when you first started yeah. But I'm like, oh my god, he did not. No, no. Okay, no. but that's good. That was a good story. The, yeah, way the only time I had a problem doing it then either, but a lot of times if I'm going to ask a kid a question, I make damn sure that the parents are. Yeah. You know, and I like get the parents' permission. Say, hey, mom, I'm going to ask your kid a question. Isn't this that is a law? I'm going to ask. Isn't that a law? No, actually, it's not. It's not? But what it will do. Is when you start questioning, when you start questioning children, it it's not a law, but professionals are the ones who do detailed questions. Yeah, people who are trained to do it, and they go to the advocacy center here, the children's advocacy center, to do that. They're they're put into a comfortable environment, uh -huh. and they're spoken to by people who do it for a living. So. Really, the only thing, the only time I would ever ask a question of a child is... Well, a minor. I mean, are we talking... Yeah, I mean, actually in... I mean, because you can drive at 16, so you question lots of minors, right? Uh, anybody, 
anybody under 17, anybody under 17, I would have the exact same rules from a one year old all the way up into to your 16. under 17, you say? Mm-hmm. Well, but that's not a law, it's a policy, not even a policy. It's no. so you can question them, but if they ask for their parents, you're supposed to allow them, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. Like, if, then you're not supposed to question them anymore, right? Okay. I mean, that's so, but you know, if you question my, you know, I'll tell mom and dad all the time, I'm gonna, it's okay if I ask your, your child a question. The first thing out of their mouth is, well, I wanna be there. Well, absolutely, of course, I wouldn't do it any other way. I would be there. And let me tell you the question I'm gonna ask them ahead of time so there's no surprise. And really, all I, all I will say is, can you tell me what happened? And then let them tell me what happened. I wouldn't deviate from that at all. You know, if you said, well, tell me what happened. Well, he hit, he hit me in the head. You know, I wouldn't go into it and say, no, was it a closed fist, was it open fist? Like, okay, you got hit in the head. Yeah. Are you okay? And then they would say, yeah, and just leave it at that. You know, anything beyond that needs to be done by. So, because I mean, kids are, I mean, it's a whole other animal when we start interviewing them because, because they have words for other words mm-hmm. and stuff that I'm not trained in. So, basically, all right. basically, all I want to find out is, is there a problem? Yeah, that, that that's amazing. I mean, I really, you're going to look good saying that on my channel, I'm telling you, because, I mean, that's so tired of seeing, like, it's like every call, there's no crime. You know what I mean? There's no victim. There's no crime, right? Yeah. And, um, and I know there's crimes going on, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. you know? I don't know. I know you're you're busy. You've got to go prove yeah. a report, whatever yeah, that I'm means. Yeah, go look it over for him. All right. Yeah, so, yeah. Thank you. All right, man. Good to you see you again. Have a great night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll stop in and say hello too. All right. They're going to be around for a while. Aren't they? Oh, here tonight? No, I mean. Oh, I never make plans, but um, I mean, I don't have any plans to leave. You know, once you start thinking about leaving a place or a relationship, it's over. You might as well just go. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Right, you have a good night. Press on. Awesome. Master by the name of Ace. Smoking more than all 50 states. Combined, yeah, right, I gotta stay on the grind. I got no money, so my weed's on my mind. I hit the club, but you know I can't dance. Seven and seven in my cutoff chance. Had a shirt in my long ass hair. Well, part of how I look makes you think I care. <laughs> Ha <coughs> ha